You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Brought to you by Camp Team Insurance, your sports insurance specialist. And welcome back to MileHighSportsPreps.com. The 130-pound final is Dan Godin of Grandview has had a great tournament against Isaiah Rosales of Pomona. The sophomore 20 and 3 on the season. This will be a very active match as we're underway here in this uh, championship uh, battle. And right now the Grandview star Godin, like his brother did a little bit earlier tonight, ever the aggressor as he gets uh, front roll started. The referee does not, however, award points as he waves that off. And now trying to pick him up there. And a nice reversal and two points for Rosales. Nifty move. It sure was. And if I think if you're from, from Ponderosa, you're probably rooting for, for Granby. But uh, at this point right now, we have an advantage for Pomona, who actually is right in the top three with Ponderosa. And, uh, of course, the leaders at that's Coronado. Rosales is the number two ranked wrestler in 130 pounds behind Curtis Nelson, the great Chaparral star. So this is an outstanding uh, wrestler for a reason. He'll be in the picture come state tournament time when we get uh, to the Pepsi Center in uh, February. And actually uh, that has got Garrett Vasquez of Loveland number two, but according to the on the mat rankings, Rosales has moved up to number two. So uh, Rosales trying to get off to the great start, which he's doing so far and leading uh, five uh, nothing. And uh, we'll, we'll go over that a little bit later, uh, Ed, but uh, Rosales is off to a great start there tonight. And he's one of the highly ranked uh, wrestlers in the state for a reason. Now they'll have uh, the wrestlers uh, down on the mat with 23 seconds remaining here in the uh, first period of action in this 130 pound final. Again, trying to dictate the pace is Rosales. And uh, now a uh, escape there for Godin, so it's now 5-1. And we'll see whether or not uh, Dan can get uh, his offense going. Rosales has been uh, low in gravity with his shoulders crouched down. And that, that, tough to score that way. End of the first period, 5-1 for Rosales. You know, uh, for sure, God, uh, Godin, I should say, has had a great tournament. He has scored nearly 30 points coming into the finals and finds himself again scoring more. But uh, it, it's it's going to be hopefully a closer match than uh, than what he's had in the in, uh, leading up to the to the finals here. Godin starting the second period down on the mat, and Rosales now trying to take advantage and hold on to this lead in here in the second period of action. Both wrestlers twisting and turning, and a nifty escape there. Again, by Godin was able to twist at it like a pretzel and get that big escape. It's now 5-2, and now Godin trying to find an offensive move, trying to get low to his legs and his hip. And again, Rosales with the single leg takedown and got uh, a little advantage for a moment. Now tries to roll him over and does for a two-point takedown. And nifty more move. than that, John, he's got another... Got, a, got him in a great position there and, and could have the Grandview in a bad, bad, bad position at this point. He's going to have to fight. Could be our first pin of the night. He's got him squeezed on there. He's got him in that half mood. Right now, Godin has his shoulder just slightly up, but Rosales trying to put the finishing touches on this, trying to squeeze. Godin fighting to get out of this. Rosales caught him in a bad spot uh, uh, 30 seconds ago. Unfortunately for Godin, he was able to twist out of it, but another three-point takedown, and Rosales is off to a flying start, 10-2. 39 seconds remaining here in the second period. And again, trying to wear down his opponent. Now he has him on that front roll top position. Very difficult for Godin to try and squeeze out of that, especially when he's uh, using his weight on him right now and wearing him down. Now the referees will blow the whistle. Uh, legal hold for just a moment. And we have 19 seconds to go. And right now, Mr. Rosales, uh, Ed, the young sophomore showed a lot of moxie off to a blazing offensive start in this match. He sure is. He's uh, controlling the match, pouring the points on. And it looks like he's going to score some more at this point. We're down to 10 seconds. 
Godin's been spending most of the second period on the mat, on the mat trying to get out of holes, and Rosales, uh, the ever-aggressive one, has just been right on top of him, and that will be the end of the second period. And uh, Isaiah Rosales of the Pomona Panthers off to a great start, 10-2. to 2. Godin's going to have to uh, do some things differently here in the third period and try and get some offensive points quickly and shoot. Both wrestlers now begin the third period standing up. Again, Rosales going after that leg, going down low on him. And uh, Godin in, in a real bad spot needs to try and turn him over if he can get his hips around. Rosales almost slipped into one of those moves for just a moment. But now a uh, headlock right in the middle of the mat. We have a minute and a half remaining in this contest as uh, Isaiah Rosales uh, looking for his 21st win of the year. And an escape there, it's now 10-2. Rosales, biding a little time, saving some energy. Again, that single leg takedown to his right leg. Again, Godin trying to wrap around and trying to get him turned over on his hip. And the referees called the illegal hold for just a moment. Minute and eight remaining in this matchup. Rosales has been off to the races since the start. And Godin has been trying to get going, but just has not been able to establish any offense. And look at Rosales, low gravity to the mat. Again, going for that single leg takedown. And again, Godin trying to grab his leg and roll him over. That has not worked tonight. Again, holding on to his right leg. Godin just trying to fight and battle to get out of it. Rosales on top of him. Can Godin get him turned? We're down to 30 seconds. Twisting and rolling and turning, and there's Rosales with that little front high roll thing, and another two points. It's now 12 to two. Still working, still working. And now Rosales doing what he wants to do. He has worn down Godin. Godin has not gotten on track tonight, and a very impressive performance by Isaiah Rosales. We're down to eight seconds. 12 to 2, this will be a major decision victory Four, for Rosales. Two, and a, quite a performance tonight by the Pomona sophomore. Final score in this one, 12-2. Isaiah Rosales over Dan Gordon of uh, Pomona. You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Brought to you by Camp Team Insurance, your sports insurance specialist.